On the south side of San Juan Capistrano, the orange subdivision crosses over San Juan Creek. Some orange groves that once gave Orange County its name can be seen in the distance as a southbound BNSF freight train crosses over San Juan Creek and passes CP Capistrano. This is the last siding for train meets in Orange County. This mixed freight, or manifest, is a regularly scheduled Barstow, California to San Diego train known in the BNSF system as H-BARSTG and nicknamed the Dago. The Dago runs once a day in each direction, usually operating under the cover of darkness. Just a few years ago, daytime runs were extremely rare for any freight on the surf line. However, with the completion of additional double track projects, it is now a more common occurrence. Surfliner train 572 has just passed the south end of the siding at CP Serra, crossing a bridge over the Pacific Coast Highway in Dana Point. This location is where trains first meet the Pacific Ocean on their journey to San Diego. From atop some coastal bluffs, we get our first great view of the Pacific Ocean with Dana Point visible below. Further away, Catalina and San Clemente Islands can just be made out above the horizon. With the tracks running right along the water for the next several miles, it is clear how the surf line got its name. Amtrak train 564 heads south with a rare, fully matched set of surfliner equipment. North Beach Station is one of two stops in San Clemente. All Metrolink trains serve this station while Amtrak continues on through. Many years ago, the Santa Fe Railroad installed riprap in the form of these large rocks along the stretch of the surf line through San Clemente to protect the route from coastal erosion. In the fall of 2021, passenger train service was suspended for several weeks between Mission Viejo and Oceanside due to destabilization of the right-of-way. 
BNSF ran several trains of rock to San Clemente during this time to help secure the line. The railroad was closed once again in the fall of 2022 for an extended period due to additional stabilization concerns. The second station in San Clemente is located at the famed San Clemente Pier. This stop is very popular for weekend travelers coming from Los Angeles. Two morning southbound and two afternoon northbound Amtrak trains serve this station as well as all weekend Metrolink trains. Weekday Metrolink train 600 rolls past the pier on a spectacular spring morning. San Clemente Pier provides a picturesque view of the coastline all the way from Dana Point to the county line on the south side of San Clemente. On the afternoon of February 19, 2019, Amtrak F-59 PHI number 459 is seen leading train number 580 to San Diego. This would be the last southbound run for this locomotive on Pacific Surfliner trains, returning that evening to Los Angeles on the end of train 591. The very next day, 459 was placed onto the Southwest Chief bound for Chicago to begin a new career pulling commuter trains for Metra. San Clemente is one of several major bottlenecks on the railroad in southern Orange County and northern San Diego County, causing compounding delays when even one train is not running on time. Future construction projects will see the addition of a second main track in much of San Diego County, but limited space along the beach in San Clemente and through downtown San Juan Capistrano have prevented much expansion in southern Orange County. One plan that was previously considered was to reroute the line in a several mile long tunnel underneath all of San Clemente. However, this plan has remained on hold for several years. Multiple state beaches dot the coast throughout San Clemente. A little ways south of San Clemente State Beach, a charger brings a surfliner train through.
In December of 2013, Amtrak train 583 passes through Calafia with a set of single-level Amfleet and Horizon cars. On the front of the train is non-powered control unit number 90230, converted from F40PH number 230. This unit was previously used in Amtrak Cascade service and made its way to the surf line in the summer of 2011. Following an overhaul in 2016, it was returned to Amtrak Cascade service in the Pacific Northwest. As an F40PH locomotive, the 230 was based out of Los Angeles and was frequently assigned to the San Diegan. Trestle Beach marks the division between Orange County and San Diego County. At the county line, ownership of the railroad switches over to San Diego's North County Transit District. This is also where the Metrolink Orange Sub ends and the NCTD San Diego Subdivision begins. To the south is the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, abbreviated as SONGS. This plant was one of the most recognizable landmarks on the trip down to San Diego. During its peak, the power station was able to generate over 2 gigawatts or 2 billion joules per second of power at any given time. Starting in 2020, decommissioning of songs began and is expected to take as many as 10 years. On October 1st of 2020, a special BNSF freight movement makes its way south through San Clemente as it approaches County Line. This train is delivering three new Siemens SC44 Charger locomotives from the Siemens Mobility plant in Sacramento to Coaster's Stuart Mesa shops. These three locomotives, along with two others that were delivered in August of 2020, were purchased by North County Transit District to replace five F40 PHM-2C type units built by Morrison Knudsen in 1994 for the initial startup of Coaster train service. Going back in time once again to the summer of 2010, the old wooden bridge at Trestle Beach has not yet been replaced as a northbound Metrolink train passes by. From San Onofre State Park, train 770 heads across San Onofre Creek, 
past Control Point songs, and through the first of two sections of double track across the Camp Pendleton Marine Base. The 15-mile stretch through Camp Pendleton is the longest section of largely undisturbed coastline in Southern California. As seen from a vista point along southbound Interstate 5, the Dago cuts south across Camp Pendleton with the Santa Margarita Mountains in the background. On its San Diego-bound trip, the Dago makes only one stop to set out rail cars at Porphyry Yard in Corona, with the rest of the train going all the way to San Diego. A large percentage of this traffic will continue into Mexico by way of the San Diego Imperial Valley Railroad. The northbound San Diego to Barstow train makes additional setouts and pickups at Stuart Mesa Yard just north of Oceanside for local freight trains running to Escondido. One of the few public access points to the rail line in Camp Pendleton is at Las Pulgas Road. This spot is popular with recreational bicyclists. Another southbound Dago crosses over Las Pulgas Road on a much cloudier spring day. This short section of railroad is the last portion of single track through Camp Pendleton. As of 2023, work is in progress to finish a second main track through here, creating over 16 miles of uninterrupted double-track railroad in northern San Diego County. Future plans being considered would also raise the maximum authorized speed limit from 90 to at least 110 miles per hour. On the weekend of October 3rd and 4th, 2020, Coaster Charger 5002 is paired up with F40 number 2102 on the first day of testing following delivery. The Charger is officially entered coaster service on February 8th, 2021 after the F40s made their final run on February 5th. NCTD ordered four more of these Charger locomotives which are scheduled to enter service in 2023. Two of these are replacement units for the Coaster F-59 locomotives. Well into the evening, the Charger locomotive tests continue with the short train passing the Aliso Creek rest area. This location is outside of the territory where coaster trains normally operate. However, future plans have called for extending coaster service from Oceanside to as far north as Anaheim.
The Stewart Mesa Commuter Facility is located within the Camp Pendleton Marine Base. A typical weekend morning of slow traffic on I-5 into Oceanside provides the opportunity to catch a glimpse of the facility. Just to the south, the railroad crosses over the Santa Margarita River, the site of a major double tracking and bridge replacement project in 2014. Fallbrook Yard marks the point where the surf line joins up with the original 1881 right-of-way of the California Southern Railroad for the rest of the trip to San Diego. Behind and to the right, the original line split away from the current route, traveling across the Santa Margarita Mountains to reach Fallbrook and beyond. Santa Fe continued to use the line as far as Fallbrook as late as the 1970s. It is now owned by the military and has fallen into disrepair over several cycles of winter flooding. Fallbrook Yard was built in the 1980s to replace the old Oceanside Freight Yard when the Oceanside Transit Center was built. Today, it is used for storing maintenance equipment and commuter train sets in between runs. An out-of-service coaster train runs empty from Stewart Mesa to Oceanside where it will pick up its passengers for the trip to San Diego. C.P. Eastbrook, located on the north side of Oceanside Harbor, is the south end of the section of double track across Camp Pendleton. Future track work in this area will see the replacement of the bridge over the San Luis Rey River and the addition of a second track between here and downtown Oceanside. F-59-869 leads an Inland Empire Orange County Line train north to San Bernardino. Looking to the west, from Pacific Coast Highway and Oceanside, a recently out-of-service coaster train heads to the Stewart Mesa Yard to wait for its next assignment. The harbor is a big draw to people visiting Oceanside with several restaurants and hotels right along the water. Early on in the introduction of Charger locomotives to the Pacific Surfliner, a very late Amtrak 774 with an extra-long train full of Thanksgiving travelers crosses the San Luis Rey River in November of 2018. At this time, positive train control had just been implemented over NCTD's section of the railroad and trains were occasionally delayed while bugs were being worked out with the PTC system. The Barstow-bound BNSF Dago rolls north across the San Luis Rey River with a short train. The Dago will come to a stop just a few miles north of here at Stewart Mesa to pick up cars from the Escondido local.
An Oceanside-bound Metrolink nears its destination. After all the passengers have disembarked, the train set will return north to the Stuart Mesa Yard to await its next assignment. Control Point Shell is the north end of the second main track through Oceanside. Northbound Surfliner train 583 accelerates out of Oceanside Station with a P-42 locomotive leading the way. In an area that just two decades ago had very little dense urban development, tall buildings now greet trains on their way into Oceanside. With this progress, Oceanside finally became a railroad quiet zone in 2021 after nearly 15 years of planning and construction. The Oceanside Transit Center was constructed in 1984, replacing a former Santa Fe station that was built in 1946 and located one block to the north. Santa Fe once maintained a small freight yard just to the west of the current transit center. The new facility is served by North County Transit District and Greyhound buses, as well as Coaster, Amtrak, Metrolink, and NCTD Sprinter trains. Sprinter runs on the former Santa Fe Escondido branch line to San Marcos and Escondido utilizing self-propelled diesel multiple unit rail cars which were built by Siemens Mobility in Germany in the mid-2000s. Oceanside is the southernmost station in the Metrolink system and the end point for both the Orange County and Inland Empire Orange County lines. A proposal has been made to extend Metrolink service south of Oceanside, but as of 2023, Oceanside remains as the end of the line for Metrolink. <laughs>